Julie over at the Curated Curry, she did a this and that tag and she tagged me. This is all about sewing options. So thank you, Julie. I am so happy to participate. So there are four topics and I'm just gonna jump right on in. So the first topic is sewing prep. Shopping new or stash busting. So I don't keep a fabric stash. Every time I am ready to start a new project, I usually have to go out and buy new fabric. I may buy multiple pieces of fabric at once and keep those in the sewing room and sew through those before I go out and buy new fabric. So for me, it's definitely going to be shopping new. PDF versus paper patterns. I definitely prefer paper patterns. I have done a couple of PDF patterns in the past, but my preference is to use paper patterns. Cutting versus tracing. The only time I trace a pattern is if I'm planning to hack it or do something to it. Otherwise, I usually just open the paper pattern right out of the envelope and just start cutting it out. Muslin or just go for it? So most of the time, I do just go for it. There are occasions where I will make a muslin here and there, but for the most part, I usually just open up that pattern, cut it out, and just go for it. Topic number two, fabric in store or shopping online I have done both and I do do both I find that I am shopping more in store and I usually shop at Joann's Hobby Lobby and occasionally I will go to LA Finch Fabrics when I'm shopping for fabric online I tend to find myself most often at Cali Fabrics I really love their site I like their selections and I usually get my fabric in a pretty decent amount of time knits versus wovens I love sewing with woven fabrics I do sew with knit but if I had to pick, I would choose woven hands down. I really love cottons like denim, corduroy, cotton blends. I really like sewing with linen. So definitely woven for me. Rotary cutters versus scissors. I do notice that I reach for my rotary cutters more when I'm cutting out knits. But if I'm cutting out woven, I tend to use my scissors. I use both, but I do find that I use my scissors a little more often than I use my rotary cutters. Topic three is clothing construction. Follow the pattern or just wing it. I love learning, so for me, I am following the pattern. I like to see how techniques are done, how things are sewn, how the directions have you put things together. Now, if I see something online that I'm inspired by and I want to try to recreate it and I don't have any instructions to go by, then that will be a case where I will just kind of put things together and wing it. If I buy a pattern, I'm usually following the pattern, following the instructions. I may switch things up, make a little style line here or there but for the most part I am following the pattern. Bias tape versus facings. I actually prefer facings and I like sewing with facings because they are wider so I don't have to worry about really fiddling with the little bitty bias tape. I do use bias tape and I don't mind it but if I had to pick one or the other for me I would pick facings. Serge seams versus French seams. So I've only done French seams a couple of times. I'm gonna go with serged seams. Button fly versus zip fly. I recently made a button fly and I used Simplicity 9754. It wasn't hard to do at all. As far as my preference, I think I'm gonna go with the zip fly just because I have more experience sewing zip flies. Button by hand or by machine. I usually hand sew my buttons. So I'll sew everything on the machine and usually the buttons are kind of like the last step. So after everything is all done, I usually just grab my needle and my thread and I just take my time and sew the buttons on by hand. Fusible interfacing versus sew-in interfacing. I can only count on one hand how many times I've used sewn-in interfacing. So for me, it's going to be fusible. Snip as you go or all at once. I don't wait to the end to snip everything. I try to snip as I go. However, when I'm done with the garment, I always find random threads sticking out here and there that I missed. 
but I do try to snip as I go and then I'll clean up little random threads that I missed in the end. Press as you go or all at once. One of the first things I like to turn on when I'm about to work on a new project is my iron. I like to give it time to warm up so that when I'm ready to press a seam open, it is nice and hot and ready to go. Late night sewing versus daytime sewing. I have been known to get up in the wee hours of the morning to start sewing. It will still be dark outside and I'll come in here and I'll start working and sewing and before I know it the sun is rising and the day is starting. It's definitely morning slash daytime sewing. Slow and steady versus frantic sewing. I have switched over to the slow and steady side. As a complete beginner it used to be frantic sewing. I would be so eager and excited and just rushing and getting through things. And now I have come to the point where I just come in here, I'll put on some music, I'll light a candle, and I just kind of slow things down. I'll look through the directions and I just kind of go with it, but it's at a much slower pace than it used to be. So definitely slow and steady for me. Tidy as you go or one big cleaning session. So I think I do a little bit of both. So if I'm sewing something, I usually have stuff scattered about all over the sewing room and I may pick up things here and there but I don't really do much tidying until I'm done with the complete project then I will tidy everything up and get ready for the next project so I will be tagging Joy Nicole Creativity by T So Natural Dane So She Designs and So Lovely with Grace